Good morning, everyone. Thank you again for joining us this morning for Lighthouse. I uh, hope you're ready for some worship, a Bible story, and lots of extra fun. So grab everyone, grab your parents, grab your siblings, gather around, and let's get started. And now it's time for Dakota Speaks. This has been Dakota Speaks. Stories of the Bible. Jesus appears to Thomas. This is Jesus. Hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! But some people did not like what Jesus was doing. And they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen. He was alive. What? hey ah! Jesus appeared to his disciples to show them that he was alive. One of the 12 disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus came. Hey, hey Thomas! Later, the disciples told Thomas, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, 
I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands. Put my fingers into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Oh, hey guys. Peace be with you, he said. Then Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. Thomas said, my Lord, and my God. Then Jesus told him, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Okay guys, so I've really been working on my memory verse for this month. And of course, you know, it's John 3, 16. But remember the challenge is to be able to say the memory verse while patting your head and rubbing your stomach. I can't do it yet, but I can do it while patting my head. So I'm going to try that and then next week maybe I can work in the other hand, okay? So here we go. <laughs> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3:16. Okay, even that was hard. So I'm going to really have to practice using my other hand too. Uh, when you guys get it, make sure to send in your video. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a good one. Hi, everybody. How are we doing today? It's good to have you guys back here. I'm just getting comfortable reading one of my books about the rainforest. Oh. About the rainforest. And and speaking of plants, do you know it's springtime, isn't it? Oh, it is. Do you know how excited a gardener gets when it's springtime? He gets so excited, he wets his plants. Can you believe Good day.